we allowed the hospital-based system to reassert itself in a way where they're, again, concentrating a lot of um, planning, resources, control over healthcare at in one site, taking away from the person, losing sight of the fact that we don't live in hospitals, we live in the community. Um, it's a very large sort of background, big picture insight, which I think we need to, we need to make people aware of this. Um, I don't think people are. Uh, people are focused on the virus. People are focused on the impact of isolation on the vaccine. But in the meantime, we are losing ground. And we're, I think we're losing ground structurally, and that's going to be harder to undo. So I think that was very important. If we do not measure person-centered characteristics, wishes, outcomes, quality indicators, we're essentially uh, navigating in uncharted waters. We don't know what we're doing. And, and that's uh, when we don't know what we're doing, as we were with COVID, again, the natural tendency is to go back to what we're used to, which is the hospitals. So until we build into the system um, assessments that are standard and use them that way, quality indicators that are standard and we use them that way, and quality standards that reflect person-related outcomes and wishes, uh, and allow the system players to review these and think about them and, and think about improvements, um, we're never going to wrestle control away from the hospitals, really. So I think that to me is a major structural thing that we need to fix.